this time I'd like to introduce cadet candidate, cadet Chris McHugh, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, which it stands one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. At this time, I would like to introduce the Honorable Mayor, Robert Sullivan. Good morning, everybody. I want to thank uh, each and every one of you for being here today to honor our brave men and women that have served our nation in times of war and times of peace. I want to thank Dave Farrell. Every year, David does this. A little different this year, no parade because of COVID. I want to take a moment to uh, recognize uh, and thank uh, the fellow elected officials that are here. We have State Senator Michael Brady, State Representative Claire Cronin, City Council President Shirley Azak, former Mayor and Council at Large Moses Rodriguez, Council at Large Rita Mendez, John Buckley, our Register of Deeds from Plymouth County, Tim Sullivan from the School Committee. I think that's it. Um, again, we do this every year to recognize and sincerely thank those that have put on any uniform of any branch on behalf of our nation. We wouldn't be here today without the brave men and women, those that paid the ultimate sacrifice, those that suffer as a result of war, those that are at the VA hospitals throughout our nation. Many brave men and women work for the city that served our nation, be it police, fire, DPW, people in the library, people of the Board of Health. So again, it's an honor and privilege to serve as your mayor. Today we remember and we sincerely thank every single veteran that served the United States of America. God bless and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I would ask uh, the Mayor to join me and uh, place the wreath at the foot of uh, the Veterans of All Wars Monument. At this time, I would like an invocation by the VFW, and I introduce uh, Chris Blunt of the VFW Post 1046. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father of us all, we stand here today to pay tribute to brave men and women, living and dead, who have served their country in the armed forces. Accept our thanksgiving for their sacrifices and the sacrifices of their families, which have purchased for us a free land. Cause us never to take for granted their devotion to liberty. Let our spirits be proud of them. Let their hearts be compassionate and our minds clear and determined in giving them the honor and respect they deserve. Enkindle within us a flame of selfless unwavering devotion to duty, that we may serve, that we may never be found wanting in those qualities of spirit and mind which are able to preserve our honor, our communities, and the peace of our nation. Keep our memories alive with gratitude and our gratitude alive with our faithfulness to the principles which made our nation great. Grant, we pray, join joy and fulfillment to those still living and for those who are at rest, grant your peace. Amen. At this time, I introduce the VFW Post 1046 Commander, Robert Graham. <clears throat> uh. 
I hope everybody can hear me. Mayor Sullivan, distinguished guests, VFW and auxiliary members, and friends. I want to begin by expressing my gratitude to everyone for joining us and for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today. For the world, for our country, and for our community, 2020 has been an unusual, difficult year. From facing the stress and fears of coronavirus pandemic to overcoming the isolation and aftermath of quarantine, for some it might have been easier to forget about today and make promises to ourselves to make it up next year with a bigger celebration. But I'm honored that you have taken the time out of your lives to help ensure Veterans Day remains a special day. Veterans Day is a day on which we as Americans have a lot to remember. We remember the wars fought to defend, protect, and preserve the freedom we enjoy in this country. We also remember all those who have bravely gone to war and have given of themselves so that others could live in peace and safety. And we also remember those who have gone to war and paid the highest price for those freedoms. Those of us who care to honor America's heroes gather, to, gather together today because we are honoring our sons and daughters, our mothers and fathers, and our brothers and sisters who are serving on behalf of everyone in our great country, just like the generations of American patriots did before them. In November 1941 issue of the VFW magazine, an editorial reading our forces mobilizing for World War II said, the people of America are fulfilling their often repeated pledges to the memory of America's honored dead, men and women who gave their lives to establish this nation and the heroes, heroes who have died since 1776 to defend it. They know our democracy will endure as long as we are prepared to defend it with our lives if necessary. These words have such, so much meaning today as they did then. And as veterans, we understand that wherever there is peace, wherever there is freedom, there is also a threat to them. And as these decades and centuries have passed, generations of men and women have bravely and selfishly heeded the call to serve. As veterans of foreign wars and as members of an organization whose primary mission is to serve and care for those who have served, we understand that Veterans Day is a day of deep significance, of opportunity. To us, it isn't just another a day overlooked and ignored. It is a day to both celebrate, a day to honor the millions of soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardmen who have selfishly gone whenever or wherever they were called. Veterans Day also continues to be a day of reflection. I've been asked several times in the past to explain what Veterans Day means to a veteran. As a veteran, you think that I would have the ability to easily answer that question without much thought or deliberation. But in all honesty, it is not easy. I think of my own experience in the military compared to those of my parents and grandparents. I think of all those I served alongside I think long and hard about just what it is that links veterans of every era together. What it is that we share not only on Veterans Day, but every day. I can tell you now that those who have served in the military share common values and that serving our nations bring with it a special bond that is forged by common experiences. Veterans differ in every way imaginable, but we possess an equal love of our home family, and country. I believe that each of us has a deeper appreciation for freedom and take special pride in knowing that we have been responsible for ensuring that freedom remains, not just for Americans, but for so many around the world. I hope today serves to motivate all of us with a renewed sense of patriotism, purpose, and pride. For America is truly the best country on earth and as a direct result of those who serve it. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters in arms. Today is our day. Now let's enjoy it. Thank you.
That concludes today's recognition of Veterans Day 2020, the city of Brockton. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.